In a world full of routine, two degenerates emerge to remind us to embrace life. Krista and Jason aren't the cruisers we need or deserve, but they are here anyway. They're just soulmates with a GoPro, a moderate tolerance for alcohol, and a thirst for fun. Let's celebrate the day. What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerate? Welcome back, another drink video. Yes. Hey, we decided today, we uh, since we did the martini last, that we would continue our martini adventure of things that we love on the ship. Especially since we have these cool glasses. The Weeble glasses. And uh, do the chocolatini. We call it a chocotini because we're too lazy to say the whole word. The lul, lul, lul. What? Lul, that, that's the part we skip. The lul. <laughs> the lul. So anyway, <laughs> if you look on the, the martinis and more uh, section of the menu, the drink menu, you will find the chocolatini consisting of absolute vodka, uh, absolute villain, vanilla, man, I am struggling. Absolute <laughs> vanilla vodka, uh -huh. Irish cream, and chocolate liqueur. 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 So, and uh, that's just pretty straightforward. Yeah, but how... Is there some history on this drink? Because there might I'm be. I'm sorry, I wouldn't hook up Bailey's with vanilla vodka. It wouldn't make sense. And Chris asked me that question uh, basically this morning, and I was like, "Come on, you know, it's just a chocolate martini. You know, what could possibly be the history behind that?" And I made, I had the gift of googling that and blew <laughs> my mind. I mean, this is this is the greatest story ever. So, um, for those of you that are, well, it doesn't really matter. I think most people have heard of the two people that developed this. Yes. But um, <clears throat> back in 1955, two of the biggest stars of the day, uh, Rock yeah. Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor, were sitting around drinking martinis and concocted this recipe. Now, I'm going to bet that somewhere in Texas, there's probably a bartender that invented this and they had had one at some point or somewhere in the world. Right. Where obviously Rock Hudson and uh, Elizabeth Taylor were probably some jet setting types. So they both loved chocolate. They drank martinis and they decided what would happen if we took our regular old martini and we put a splash of chocolate liqueur in and the chocolate martini is invented. And then over the course of time, it becomes the recipe that we know today um, there still exists that version of a chocolate martini, so it would just be like a martini that's much, much clearer, where this one will be quite creamy. Mm -hmm. And But that's that's basically it. I mean, but two people like Elizabeth Taylor and, and Rock, Rock Hudson. Hudson. And the history these two have is incredible. They were so, in several movies together. Well, yeah. Uh, Rock Hudson um, was born in 1925 and died in 1985. And for those of us in... The, that were around back then. I mean, this I remember is, when he died. Uh, it was he died of AIDS, and yeah. he was the first really, really humongous celebrity that died of AIDS. And, and it, it created wasn't, the, the, it was chaos. Hollywood came out. Everybody came out in support of the fight on AIDS back when it was just rampant. Yeah. Um, Rock Hudson was in the closet for mm -hmm. the better part of his career. And it wasn't until maybe I mean there was obviously rumors the and last stuff couple like years that, of his life. but the last couple of years of his life. Um, people started outing him in the newspapers and stuff like that. And back in 1985, I mean, it doesn't seem like that long ago to you and me. No. But it was a completely different environment to be a gay person in America. Oh, it was. I, I remember um, he his death actually brought more awareness nationally to AIDS and how it's, you know... If Rock Hudson People came out and said, could die of, of that's it. That's exactly um, what they said. Anybody that I can remember die. too. It's like if a nice guy like Rock Hudson can die of AIDS, then anybody can die of AIDS. Yeah. And we gotta do something about it. Like like people that had AIDS were stricken. And you remember some of the bullshit oh. that was going down where this is, you know, God <laughs> having his revenge on gay people and things like that. It was it was it was pretty bad back in the day. It was, and it wasn't and this even, wasn't that long ago. And now, yeah, yeah I mean now, I mean... I'm glad it's 2019. That's all I got to say. But It was weird. Anyway, he was uh, the heartthrob of that... that. Oh, my mom. That era. <laughs> Rock Hudson. And, yeah, I mean, even, like, Looney Tunes cartoons I would grow up watching. Yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me hang up on whoever that is. You, I would grow up watching uh, Bugs Bunny, and mm -hmm. they, he would dress up like Rock Hudson. And yeah. be, like, the, the sexy man, you know, I, desirable type... Um, he died in uh, October 2nd, 1985. Wow, he died on your birthday. He did. Um, did nearly 70 films. 
over the over the course of his career, which was about 40 years, which is a long time. Uh, Name a lot of celebrities that go 40 years. Right. And uh, several starred in several TV series, but a humongous impact on the way we uh, our cult, the way I think that that was probably a turning point for a lot of people in being aware of being gay. And he was gay and, you know, probably a long, long time ago. Oh, I'm Somewhere sure. Somewhere around 1925, he was born. So probably by 1930, he was starting to figure out that he wasn't in, uh, he was gay. Right. And so, but, you know, you just couldn't. And back in the day, they would, they would tie you to the back of a pickup truck and drag you down a dirt well, road. Well, because he was so in the closet, um, Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor, because they were such good friends, they were often thought to be couples, a couple, um, because they hung out a lot. Yeah. Uh, and, well, and she but was, they were really good friends. Uh, but if anybody was going to die of AIDS and and change the way people look at gay people, I would say Rock Hudson was one of the first people yeah. that really turned the tide on that it's that AIDS wasn't strict. It wasn't something that was yeah. specific to gays, right. and that being gay wasn't all that. Well, it, it, it's <laughs> I, a lot of people after that started coming out and it started to be more well known and you know amazing movies like Philadelphia were created um, well after like that. I said I'm glad to be alive in 2019 personally I was there back in the day you know, I, not, I, don't go, I don't go back to when Rock Hudson was a star but he was already a uh, icon in Hollywood by that time oh yes. um, uh, you know guess how many Oscars Rock Hudson won you said he was in over 70 films mm-hmm. so I'm guessing 70 nope one one? He has one Oscar. But he was the, he was known for his romantic comedy. So yeah. pick uh, today's romantic comedy star and insert their name here and see if they last four decades. Not so much. Right. Um, Elizabeth Taylor, our other side of this story. <laughs> she had more husbands and he had Oscars. <laughs> That's a true story. Uh, Elizabeth Husband. Uh, oh, Elizabeth Husband? <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, uh, born in 1932, died uh, here, well, recently for us, 2011. Um, set a record in 1963 for being the first person to be paid a million dollars to be in a movie. In 1963, she was paid a million bucks to show up for a movie. Uh, I'm guessing that was How cool probably was that? Cleopatra. You're exactly right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And you alluded to Mary, uh, <laughs> her, her Elizabeth. Husband. She was married so much she had to marry one of the guys twice. Twice, right? <laughs> so eight times total, seven people in uh, in total for uh, marriages. Married to uh, Hollywood elite uh, senators. You, uh, she pool boys. Whatever she chose, and she was Elizabeth Taylor, and she did it her way. Um, one of the few classic stars of Hollywood that managed to be. Uh, relevant and a modern day celebrity as well. True. I mean, uh, even after her movies were long out of date, that you would well, have had to be into nostalgia to know what Elizabeth Taylor was an actress, you would still know Elizabeth Taylor as the fashion icon. Well, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite perfumes was White created diamonds. by her. <laughs> yep, White Diamonds. Even if you don't know Elizabeth Taylor was an actress, you, you know, know what White, White Diamonds, diamonds are. is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Um, guess how many Oscars Elizabeth Taylor won? How many movies was she in? I don't know if I have the total on that. Google it. 10? No. 20? No. 30? Eight. These things are pretty hard to come by, apparently. Apparently. Because if she can only collect one of them. But of the six Oscars uh, she won, she won one as a humanitarian award. She was huge. And Mm -hmm. guess what? Gay rights. Yes. Now, uh, if you don't think that hers and Rock Hudson's friendship wore off on her, Oh, the well, and she was, was amazing. What a good human he w- may have been. I don't know Rock Hudson personally, nor any of his family, but I'm guessing that some of Rock Hudson wore off on her. She was also mm-hmm. uh, a big advocate for the Jewish people and uh, mm-hmm. multiple other things out there. Um, she won eight Golden Globes, including the Cecil B. DeMille Award, which, which is, is a major deal. To be, uh, yeah, um, well, here's how big a deal the Cecil B. DeMille Award is if you're into that whole Hollywood show, which I am not. Okay. I am. I'm just going to come out and say it. I ain't, I'm not a fan of Hollywood shows he, where everybody sits around and pats themselves on the back in their own society. But um, winners of that include uh, Walt Disney, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, John Wayne, Lucille Ball, Sophia Loren, Sean Connery, Robin Williams, Oprah Winfrey, and Steven Spielberg. That's pretty good company. 
Yes. Hey, do, um, that there's the new E.T. movie coming out. I'm a little weirded on that. One. And so but, she, when Rock Hudson, while while he may have died, and everybody could have said, oh, you know, he was a bad man because he was gay and he died of AIDS and he deserved it, which many and said back in back the back 80s in the day, they did. Elizabeth Taylor was still alive with a mouth that moved and oh, went boy. out on a fight. This lady was nothing but fire, man. No, was spunky. She but, was. You know, I love those strong women stories. I know you do. And, and she was one she of the was. strongest she was. women I can remember. But did a lot of great things for civil rights. That so, is true. There you go. I mean, she made it's a Chacotini, right? And it had Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson involved. How cool is that? That is really cool. Okay, so uh, my best guess at a Chocolatini, or Chacotini, as you will hear us refer to it once we had a few drinks, um, is going to be one ounce of chocolate liqueur, two ounces of uh, Irish cream, uh, half ounce of vanilla vodka, some chocolate syrup to drizzle inside the glass, ice to shake it in the shaker. Now, where we decided to cut costs because Godiva is thirty dollars for a uh, a bottle. Yeah, I think it's seven fifty. Yeah, and twenty for a three seventy five, which they didn't have any of. We went down to Total Wine. Their house brand is this uh, Tolan Tolan. And it has a cute little bell. And we uh, picked these. These were uh, three bucks for the little bottle. And this is a dollar, which is Van Meers. Um, we're going to give those a go. I haven't had those. I have had Godiva, and I can tell you it's not all that for 30 freaking dollars. No. Um, Bailey's, we're going to we're not going to use, for our Irish cream, we're not going to use Bailey's. We're going to use Michael's. We like Michael's because it's Irish whiskey based instead of rum based. And it has a little extra cool heat irish -y stuff. I like some whiskeys. I'm mainly a rum girl, but I like some whiskeys. And in this one, it's actually, I prefer it over Bailey's. So your pick, um, if you have the money for Godiva or you have Godiva chocolate mm -hmm. on hand, then by all means, use the Godiva. If you like Bailey's, continue to use Bailey's. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Yeah. I'm not a bartender. I don't even play one on TV. And then for our vodka, we're using Stoli Vanilla. Because Feel I, free to use um, any vodka you want, vanilla-wise, vanilla or yeah. uh, I, don't, I couldn't even tell you that the vodka is going to make that much difference. So if you've got regular so. old vodka, by all means, throw regular vodka in it. Throw a drop of uh, vanilla, vanilla extract in it if you want, or just skip it altogether. So the instructions we are... Went, we went with the thickest yeah, chocolate syrup we could find, because some of the chocolate syrups out there, you shake it, and it's like water inside the bottle. They're made to make chocolate milk. Yeah. And this one, um, I think, was more for ice cream, but like it's, it's pretty top. darn yeah. It's it's pretty darn thick. And it's so. Bosco, my mom's favorite. <laughs> my mom always had a bottle of Bosco in the house. So Chris is going to attempt drizzling chocolate. Close enough. Yeah, that'll make a pretty drink. Like a pro. I drizzled. All right. Two ounces. We're going to make two at a time, so we're going to double okay. this up. Two ounces of Godiva. Okay, if you want to start with nope, that, that's, that's fine. fine. That's an ounce. Whatever. I needed the shot glass. An ounce. An ounce of, it, of the vanilla vodka. Okay. Two ounces of the Irish cream. I'll put the recipe by you and Which I'll do the booze. Irish cream. Alright, so last week we dove to the depths of high ABV drinks and dig, dug up the dirty martini. And I thought that was hot. Whew, man, that thing was, that was something. It was a good drink. That was good. But so whoop. it came out at a 16% ABV drink with 0.8%, or 0.8 of an ounce of alcohol in it. The Choco Tini basically has one ounce of a 15% in it, which Krista is pouring, or the, yeah, the chocolate. Pardon me, the chocolate. Two ounces of 17%, a half ounce of uh, 40%, and I'm um, figuring we're gonna, and there are no mixers. There's no orange juice, whatever, you know, type of mixer. It's all the dilution is gonna come from the ice. And that's gonna put us at a 0.7 of an ounce of pure alcohol in this bad boy for a 12.5% drink. So with all these liqueurs, we have lowered our ABV down a bit. 
which uh, for us is nice. We have shit to do, so. Right? <laughs> okay. But it's still a pretty potent drink. I mean, uh, if you think about in beer, uh, a 12 ounce can of 4.2% uh, beer, this is basically uh, three beers. It just keeps going. It's like the eternal martini. I saw some recipes on the internet, so I mean, if you want to Google it, by all means, this recipe for carnivals is actually very close to one you'll find on Bailey's. If you yes. find a chocolatini recipe on Bailey's, it's really close to this. Uh, I found other ones that added up to be like 10 ounces of shit in a five ounce glass. I don't know how that works, but okay. You ready? <laughs> so let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. I like this martini. <laughs> That's nuts on. This is very, very yummy. I detect a small difference of the ship drink versus this drink due to the Bailey's we like. Yeah. Or the, the Eilish liqueur. But I think it's better. It has a nice uh, alcohol heat to it, but it's not yeah. It's not the NyQuil dance. No, no <laughs> NyQuil. Oh, damn. All righty. Um, we'll drink these in about 40 seconds, and uh, we'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> right? Oh, this is good. Okay, bye, guys. Cheers. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Obviously, we're fans of this drink. Basically. Very much. It's a lot like a, a bushwhacker, fan. really. It is. It's but a lot like a... Oh, it's it's pretty good. delish. Very delish. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. We need to go get some ice. Okay. I'll get some ice after I blow. Yeah, I'll pour while you blow. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna blow very high. I mean, this only has a half ounce of vodka per uh, person. Zero point zero. So after last week's drink, we're both uh, we've developed superpowers. Superpower! Superpower! Wonder Twins unite! <laughs> Wonder Twin powers activate! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna blow very high. So, but it only has half an ounce of vodka. I mean, if you really wanted to like bump it up, I did two ounces. This is amazing. Okay. If you really wanted to bump it up, I would add more vodka. If you wanted it to be stronger, I mean, it's only half ounce a piece. Well, there's every, the other things with booze in it, and it still comes out to a 12%. You right? want to try this one? Since we did the other one last time? Party on. I love this measuring. Yeah, it's easy, right? That, that's actually really cool. And it's a good, cute little bottle. Okay. Oh, do you want to try the... Well, I the shika, shika, shika. Oh, I got a blow. Yes, you do. Ugh, makes me burp. I'm kind of burpy with this drink. Point oh two. Point oh two. Yeah, so I have supercars. But this is a very tasty drink. We I, I hit one of these in the MDR every time. And I never realized that it was a twelve point something percent ABV, so that explains a lot of my uh choices when I'm in the MDR and why I leave thinking I can dance. <laughs> you do. <laughs> of course, I think the last time we were in the MDR, you had four specialty drinks. Hmm. All right, I'm starting to see another thing going on with why I leave that way. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> God, this is tasty. This one's a little more chocolatey. This one is a little more chocolatey. 
from the uh oh from this yep this gives it more chocolate i mean you know like i said if you got godiva laying around then by all means or if that's your deal you know if you want to be really authentic to the drink that you had on the ship stick with the name brand stuff yeah we're, we've uh, had godiva so we were branching out plus yeah. the stuff's cheap if i could find it in smaller bottles i'd probably be about it because i'm not hey. sure that we're going to just sit around drinking chocolo teenies all night long which hey, is going to end up Bert. with a bottle of uh, booze in the back of my cupboard that i'm going to get to every now and then right they make me burp yummy it yeah. is good it is it's very desserty good. though you know, one thing I was thinking yeah. about... Chilling on the Lido, drinking a Chocolatini, not, not so, so much, much, you know. Uh, one thing I was thinking about with, um, you know, Elizabeth and, and Rock... Um, oh, we're on a first-name basis now. Yes. Uh, you know, they... Liz and Rock, yeah. Liz and Rock. They, they really, you know, about the time of Rock Hudson's death was also the time of... What's that amazing... Christmas Carol that um Christmas Carol? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a Christmas song. It's on all all the Christmas channels. Um The one with George Michael. Yes. It's Christmas time. Yes, that one. Yeah. Okay. And Do and, they know it's Christmas? Yes. That and was. that came out about the same time as Rock or you know, shortly after Well, Rock George Hudson's Michael's death. was accepted to be gay. It was exactly. by that time that he was in the mainstream, it was fine. He didn't have right. to hide something no. to otherwise limit his success or his ability to give his gift to the world. Yeah. I mean, he kept it secret for the first couple of years, but I think by the time this song came out, it was he was it was well known. And but it is around the yeah. same time. I'm just glad time. it don't fucking matter anymore, you know. I love Which this drink. I got drink. like an ounce left of mine and we haven't even cut yet. This is so good. Okay, let's get off the fucking camera. Okay. We'll be back in 20. We'll be back. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome back. Hello. Yes. Yes. We're big fans of, I mean, the one on the ship is phenomenal. I like my, the home version with the, uh, the, the Irish whiskey based. And I like Irish this. Irish cream. Van Meers. It's more chocolatey. <laughs> it's a freaking dollar for and that little bottle. And it's a dollar bottle. for this uh, little bottle. Seven fifty was twelve bucks or something like right? that. Dirt cheap. Yeah, so. this this cheap stuff tastes more chocolatey than 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 the, the I mean, total well, wine a, brand. A part of our deal of being degenerates is to try and save a buck. You know that it doesn't have to be Not cheap. A uh, a high dollar cocktail if we can find a way to save. But right? Bailey's or this, um, you know, we've tried some cheaper this... versions of. Uh, of of Irish cream and it's not phenomenal it gets a little you know that funky yeah gross but there's a funk so I don't know if I would cut it on that we particularly like this this is good um, vodka wise I got no issue with Smirnoff even if you no. can find the vanilla infused or pinnacle we've drank gallons of pinnacle right? and that stuff is dirt cheap and probably Grey Goose and Belvedere might make a flavored I know they make yeah, it's pretty, that's high dollar yeah. shit though, you know? And if you're gonna make something flavored, I mean, we're pouring chocolate in the glass here. The quality of vodka isn't gonna matter as much no. as a straight up or a dirty martini where the vodka is really defining the that's characteristics. True. That's true. But it's not <laughs> very, I mean, I've had two of these now and I'm not extra. Let's find out. I don't I'm, even see a I'm snack not, out here. I don't have a snack even. I'm, we I'm, did eat. And yeah. there was no pregame. You didn't see me start with a beer today. No, there was no pregame. We got for stuff to do. We're, we're supposed to do YouTube Live for Adventures Ahead tonight. So I mean, yeah, it, I've got to finish laundry and clean the kitchen, and and I'm perfectly fine to do that after two of these. In my mind, we'll see what Blowy Blowy says. <clears throat> Point oh two. Wow. Right. You really Which, stepped up your man, game there. Well, after last week, man, holy crap. <laughs> a dirty martini. Phew. That that was a monster. That and that Sandy the Shenanigator Goombe smash. Oh, the Goombe smash. We were smashed. We were smashed. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Um, yeah, we've had some that are... For a 12% drink, I mean, it's not. we're not registering, so I think it's the lack of pregame and the food. And that we're coming off of a 16% drink last week. You're done, dude. Quit blowing. Oh. 0.05. Yeah, so you're 0. 0.5 under where you were, or last you week. were 0.1. I was 1. Yeah, 1. 1.2. Yeah, 1.2. Anyway, yeah. yeah so. I'm sober compared to last week after drink two. So, a uh, good choice for us for uh, the amount of stuff that we need to do still today. Yeah, I agree. This was 
good. I really like this. Uh, this would be a great wind down on a cold night, which we're getting ready to have cold. They, they were telling us to find jackets on the Weather Channel this morning. Yeah, we got nothing to complain about. That's pure craziness I'm not going right to sit there. here and tell you about my jacket when the rest of the country is blanketed in snow and going yeah. through bad stuff. Right yeah, the, 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 the last four days have not been kind to the northern portion of the U.S. All righty. Okay. Thanks for dropping by, guys. We totally appreciate it. Enjoy <laughs> yourself a chocolate martini. Yes, they're yummy. Celebrate, Celebrate the day. The day. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go out on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.